Hey girl, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode two of our Get Your Life Together series. On today's episode, we will be organizing our pantry and when I say we, I mean you and me. In other words, I don't want you to just watch this video, but I want you to get up and actually organize your pantry as I'm organizing mine. Well, how about this? You can go ahead and watch the video one time through, but at some point, I really want you to get up and organize your pantry too. Don't worry about finishing it at all in one day because I didn't. It actually took me three to five days to complete this pantry. I got the majority of it done on the first two days, but then I used the last few days to perfect it. And believe it or not, all three of those days were not back to back. You guys already know I have three little ones. I have a whole hubby. I'm a life and mom coach and I have a planner business and I have other responsibilities to take care of as well. So please feel free to take your time, but just make sure you try to get it done within 14 days. Don't let it pass the 14 day mark, okay? So for those of you wondering what the role of organizing the pantry plays in getting your life together, here it is. Organizing your pantry is one of the key ways in creating and maintaining a healthier lifestyle. I love how in Belinda Norton's blog, she talks about the pantry actually being the key to wellness, health, and nutrition for the family unit, which I completely agree with, especially if you load up your pantry with the amazing foods that your body needs. She also talks about how research shows that we open up our pantries anywhere from 18 to 46 times a day, depending on how much we are home. So if you use this opportunity to create a nutrition-rich pantry, you in turn will be fueling your body in a way that will positively impact you mentally, physically, and spiritually. So if you're ready to do that, let's get started. Whenever I get started on the project, I like to draw things out to kind of give myself like a little blueprint of how I want things to look. I find that this makes it way easier for me and it takes away a little bit of the overwhelming feeling of actually having to tackle a large project. The Home Edit. Guys, I love this book. Things like this really help me. This is so cute. It also comes with like the labels and stuff for you to label your items. I'm not going to use it, at least not yet, but that's really cute for those of you who do want to use it. I don't know if you're like me, but I can definitely, you know, style a little outfit, put a little something, something together real cute. But as far as like home decor and, you know, house items, I can't really put those together off the whim like an outfit. So for me, I like to lean on things like this book or Pinterest or magazines to really get some inspo in those areas. So I would definitely recommend for you to get a book, a magazine or a Pinterest interest to get some inspo to definitely you know jump start the process of your project what i like about this particular book when it comes to pantries is that it shows you all kinds of pantries you have your super fancy pantries you have your minimalist pantries you have your super expensive pantries and then you have your pantries that are not as expensive so i love that it gives you so many ideas on what you can do and of course you don't have to copy it but it definitely gives inspiration and little things you can take from different styles of pantries so this is what we are working with guys i don't know how we let this pantry get out of control but here we are i remember after i had my daughter like we didn't have any of the bins and containers or anything like that but i was like such a neat freak while i was pregnant and for a while after i gave birth to her and i remember everything had a place and i would notice if anything was moved or if anything was in the wrong place so when i tell you i don't know how it got like this please believe me but it's all good because we're about to get it all under control right now 
So with inspiration, I was able to draw out everything I want my pantry to be from the jars and the bins and the baskets all the way to exactly what I want inside of each jar, bin and basket. So before leaving out to get everything I want for my pantry, I go ahead and take measurements of my pantry because the worst thing would be to go out and go shopping and end up with a whole bunch of things that can't fit or don't look good in the pantry. So once I got my measurements, I headed over to Target and I was able to get my bins, my baskets, my jars, and all the pretty things that I wanted to use to put my pantry together. So I went ahead and purchased all of the baskets, the bins, and the jars that I saw that will help me bring my vision for the pantry to life. I was going back and forth with deciding the colors that I wanted. It was between like a gray color and this black you have here. I ended up going with the black with touches of brown. And guys, I absolutely loved it. So I decided to empty out the entire pantry. This will give me a nice and clean place to work with. This will also help me to eliminate all trash, but also keep the things that I do want to keep in specific places. Because again, like I always say, it's always good to have an assigned place for everything in your house. Cleaning out the pantry was really exciting for me. I do believe that having a clean pantry can help you get started on your healthy living journey, as well as helping you maintain a health journey. Two things that were very important to me as I organized this pantry was one, to make sure everything is organized, of course, and two, to make sure everything was easily accessible by me and also by my kids. I'm gonna be honest and say that I am one of those that likes for things to be aesthetically pleasing and pretty, you know, and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, like I always say, I would also like for them to be functional and easy. So those are all a part of my goals when it comes to organizing this pantry. You guys, look at all the stuff that was in my pantry. I literally had to double stack things on top of the island. Then I literally had to start putting things around the island and that wasn't enough. So I then had to start putting things on the island stools. Guys, this is a lot of stuff. Again, I am so happy I decided to tackle this project because not being organized can waste your time and also waste your money because you won't know what you have, what you don't have. You'll be buying more stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm so happy we tackled this project. It was so necessary. So my goal here is to see if I can get this pantry looking as close to this picture that I drew as possible. I hope you guys can see it because we're about to make it happen right now. I like to start by putting my bins, my baskets, and my jars in the pantry first because this will help me to achieve the look that I'm going for. And then once I'm done, I can then take any of the items that I want and put them into the baskets one at a time and return the basket to exactly where it was. This will help me not only with placement, but this will also give me direction as to what I want in each basket and, I, and where I want that basket to be in the pantry. So earlier I talked about how I want my pantry to be functional, but also easily accessible to my kids. So if you notice, I put the two bins on the bottom row because I want to make sure that my baby girl that's two is able to reach her juice boxes. She doesn't always want mommy to go get them for her, but she wants me to be able to say, baby girl, go get your juice boxes. And she wants to be able to do that by herself. So this does help me with that. And then I want to have the snacks in the area, whereas baby girl cannot 
reach them, but I do want her big brothers to be able to get a snack for her. So they need to be able to reach that. And then lastly, I want to make sure that myself and my husband can be the only ones that reach the glasses and certain items that we want to be able to give the kids, but we don't want them to be able to get for themselves. I hope that makes sense because I said a lot, but really think about what I'm saying as you are, you know, organizing and decluttering your pantry. So I really said all of that just to stress the importance of placement. I know being a mom of little children, you want to make sure that the right things are in the right place so that they won't get messed up, broken, torn, eaten, or trashed by your little ones. So again, placement is very important. And you know, mapping out your pantry the way I did it makes this type of thing easier to handle and easier to, you know, create a solution for. So this is how my pantry looks right now. This is what I came up with, but keep in mind it will change as this video progresses and then you will see the final look at the end. So my boys just saw it and they told me I did a good job. Yeah, you did mommy. Thank you baby. You're welcome. So now I go straight in and fill each bin with the item I want inside of it. I fill up the first two bins with water. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram, you know that I have been looking for this Mountain Valley spring water. Now, this water is straight from the springs, no additives, so no salt, no chemicals, no nothing. I'm so happy I found it. I have been looking in my regular grocery stores and they have not been there. So I did have to go to a special like health store to find these waters. But if you know anywhere that they sell it, don't be afraid to leave it in the comment section below so that you can help somebody else. But yeah, guys, these waters I hear are really, really good. They're simply pure water straight from mother nature. So if you can, I would advise you get your hands on them. They are a little bit more pricey than regular bottled water. And that could be because they're in a glass for one but also because it is pure water so again if you want to get your hands on these waters make sure you look at a health type of store I also wanted to add that many of these waters that are talking about great health benefits, such as alkaline water, many of them actually have a lot of additives in them, and these additives are not so good for your body. So make sure you read the ingredients before you purchase your water, if that is something that you do care about. As soon as I finish loading up the waters, I take them directly back to their place in the pantry so this is what i mean when i'm talking about decorating directly from your pantry based on the layout you already created the next thing i do is load up my pots these are my four favorite pots guys i love to always make sure that they're clean and ready because that also inspires me to cook good meals and to cook in general really So I'm working my way down to the next row and I'm about to load up these baskets with fruit. Right here you guys are seeing me cutting off the labels and the tags and all that good stuff before I start putting the items in. Here I have some bananas and I'm going to put that in here and then I'm going to go ahead and load it with apples. And in the other basket. I go ahead and put sweet potatoes in that one. So by the time you guys are watching this video, I would have already had this pantry set up like this for a few months now. And with that being said, I must say that I love having my fruits and my vegetables and you know all the items that don't need to be refrigerated. I like having them in my pantry here in these baskets. 
you guys i could not stand having them you know in the fruit bowls and the fruit baskets that go on the island or on the countertops that just wasn't working for me i just didn't like the look of it so for me i absolutely love having them in my pantry another thing i love about having the fruits and the vegetables in the pantry is that I noticed it gives the pantry a little bit of pizzazz. It gives a little bit of color and it just makes the pantry look good. Please note, by the time you guys are watching this video, I would have already had my pantry set up like this for a few months now. So I can say you can also put other fruits and vegetables inside of your baskets. I have done organic cantaloupe, I've done organic watermelon, I've done avocado, and I know you can also do lemons and limes, regular potatoes and um, onions as well. And you know with the organic cantaloupe and watermelon, those work because usually the organic items are smaller. So here's how we're looking up close. Now let's take it back. I would say we're doing a good job so far, so let's get the jars filled. I went ahead and purchased two new jars. I already had these two right here, and you can only see that the difference are the tops. Two of them have like a suction grip top, the other two don't. Since I have to wash these, I'm going to go ahead and start with these two. So I'm so glad I was able to find these containers because the juice boxes that my children drink fit in them perfectly. So I went ahead and washed all of these glasses, but I really hope that I have enough of each item to fill up these jars, because I really don't want them in the pantry looking empty. So everything ended up filling up pretty nice except for the panini noodles and that's okay because we honestly barely eat those so it's a-okay but if I do want that look I would go ahead and buy some more just to have it full. So the first basket that I'm filling up is the snack basket. My kids absolutely love snacks like most other kids. This basket I would say would be the basket that I reload so often. So I started actually keeping some in my reserve basket. So that helps a lot. You can see my baby girl coming over here asking me for some snacks. She points to the one that she wants. But I completely bypassed that because 
any cookies that are like Oreo cookie sandwich type cookies, she makes a mess. And I didn't have a time for a mess right now. I just wanted to load up this basket. So I went ahead and gave her the chocolate chip cookies. This is the basket that I was telling you guys is not going on the bottom. I have to put this basket far away from her, but close enough for my boys so they can give her her snack and they can also take their snack. So here we have our peanut butter crackers. We have our sour cream and onion chips. We have our chocolate chip cookies. We have our vanilla, what is it, sandwich cream cookies. And we have our Cheetos and Doritos. I already know the kids are gonna have a field day in this pantry picking out their snacks every day. <laughs> So up next is the pasta. We have the spaghetti, we have the pho, we have the ramen broth, we have the noodles, we have the brown rice noodles, and we have mac and cheese. I love pho, but my daughter loves pasta in general, so I like to make sure we always have some in our pantry. So as we eat up these foods in my pantry, another one of my goals is to replace them with healthier options. I know it's not gonna be overnight, but I do wanna begin to introduce more and more healthy items into my pantry. So next up, I am loading this spoon basket carrier. I'm putting the spoons, the knives, and the forks in here. But truth be told, I do not like plastic wear at all. I'm kind of going more toward the glass and running away from the plastic. But honestly speaking, where I am right now, we are definitely using plastic because my kids are going through spoons they're going through the forks every time i open up the dishwasher i can't find anything to use to eat with every time i open up the spoon drawer i cannot find spoon fork knife nothing i don't know if they're trashing it i don't know what's going on half the time it's dirty the other half the time it's gone so right now we are definitely using plastic but prayerfully I am going to be emptying out all these plastics and um, hopefully using metal or whatever they use to make regular spoons and forks. The funny thing is, believe it or not, my kids actually run through these spoons, forks, and knives as well. Of course, we always have extra knives because they don't use the knives too much, but we even had to buy the the mega pack i think it has like 500 of each inside of them <laughs> so that's what we're even doing right now we had to up it but yeah like i said one day we're going to get rid of these and use the metals or the regulars hey guys don't mind the hubby in the background or the kids but i did want to come on here and say that this video is taking longer than i expected and i've actually been needing more stuff than i thought i would need so I did head back to Target twice. And um, the other time I switched out one of the jars and I bought um, two new jars because I didn't know I was gonna need more jars. And then on top of that, I just got back from Target again and I bought two of these. And I'm gonna use these for sugars. We don't really do much sugar, but I didn't realize that we have sugar. We have powdered sugar and I do wanna get a little bit of brown sugar for my sweet potatoes because I do like that. I haven't had it like that in a while, but I do want to do that. 
And then I went ahead and got a turntable as well. And I'm gonna use this for our sauces and things that we need, you know, like readily. Um, so I'm gonna use that for this. I hope everything fits in there, guys. And I will let you know and show you guys if I have to buy any more new things as we go. But you guys, it's coming together so well. I do I have everything on here, you know, to file up or file away, or put away rather, right? And um, that's it. Hopefully this portion does not take too long, but let's go. Guys, I literally felt like this heap of stuff was going nowhere. This little turntable right here is the cutest. I went ahead and used it to put all the sauces that we use quite often, as well as the peanut butter because my kids love peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And yes, I did put the creamer on here because that's something that my husband likes to use and I wanted him to get straight to it without having to go into any bins or anything like that. So moving right along, I created this basket for my paper and my plastics. So you will find things such as brown paper bags for lunches, you will find paper cups, you will find plastic cups, you will find Ziploc bags, the big ones and the small ones, you will find paper plates, you will find all things paper and plastic. As you guys can see, I went ahead and put all the bread in this bin. This typically I know is gonna be one of my fuller bins and that is because my family eats a lot of bread. Normally we get two of these, like the actual two pack, and sometimes we get two of that equaling four. And then you can see some buns or sometimes bagels. And then you see we get two of these, right? I can't see that. We get two of these, but due to the lack of organization, we did not see these. So these have gone bad. I'm gonna have to, well, they haven't gone bad yet. They go bad today. I feel like, I think today is actually the last day. But because, like I said, we couldn't find it because it wasn't as organized. The pantry wasn't as organized as it should have been. I'm gonna have to throw those out. But yeah, so typically this will be one of my fuller bins. So I'm really happy to have this bin, of course, <laughs> because now we know where all the bread is and hopefully, prayerfully, things will not go to waste. So I went ahead and filled the two new glasses that I just purchased from Target with the sugar that was left over in my pantry. You guys already know, like I said earlier, we normally don't use sugar, but I did not want these to go to waste. So I am filling these jars with the sugar. You never know, one day I may need it. So the white sugar you're seeing is actually powdered sugar and this browner sugar is actually raw organic sugar cane sugar. I know I told you guys that I don't use much sugar, which I don't, but if I am going to choose between any, of course it's going to be the raw brown sugar cane sugar. Okay guys, so I was feeling a little bit stuck and the hubby saw him. He said it looks like I'm stuck. So he decided he's gonna help. So let's continue. Having my husband help me right here meant so much to me because your girl was really feeling stuck. I just felt like there were so many random things on the island that I didn't really know how to pair everything up with. And on top of that, I have been working on this for a really long time today. So I was really getting frustrated on top of everything. So when he came, he saw me, he was like, all right, let's get this done. And then he was gonna go ahead and help me out. I really appreciated it and it helped me to get it done faster. So what am I going to say? <laughs> I'm going to say if there is somebody that can help you when you're doing the projects around your house, don't be afraid to ask for help or you can even go into doing the project with somebody else so it can get done faster and you can also have a lot more fun doing it. 
So I did go back and reorganize these last two baskets just to make sure everything was in order just the way I would like it to be. And that reminded me of the Bible verse, which is 1 Corinthians 14 40, that says, let all things be done decently and in order. So as you reorganize, declutter, and clean your pantry, I want you to keep that in mind. But also remember that we're not to put organization or cleanliness above God. And I pray that as we clean, declutter, and organize our pantries, that God will give us the strength to maintain it and create in us the joy and stamina to begin and take on a healthier lifestyle. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Y'all, we legit had so much fun working on this. I don't know what it is, but we laughed and just had fun the entire time. With his help, we actually managed to put away all the remaining items from the pantry in less than 10 minutes. I really like how I organized my pantry by first, you know, making it all pretty and stuff by putting all the bins, the jars and the baskets in and then putting the foods and the items in the pantry exactly where I wanted them to be. You guys, it was so much easier this way and everything came out the way I wanted it to come out. So I ran over to Target to purchase these damage-free hangers so I can go ahead and put the mop and the broom on the wall. And I also grabbed these room essentials clip-on labels so I can go ahead and label all the baskets in the pantry. So here you can see how I labeled all the baskets so that everyone would know exactly where everything is. And then here to my right is where I installed the damage-free hangers for my mop and my broom. You guys, I really wanted to paint this wall so badly, but then myself and my husband, we were talking about how the fumes could possibly affect like the fruits and the vegetables and stuff that we have that are open inside of the pantry. So I said, I'll let it wait until, you know, maybe we eat those or take it out or when we have more time to do those things. So my pantry is complete, guys. We have the waters on the top. I know I need to take that little sticker off, but it's okay for now. And then we have my favorite pots right next to them. And next to that is some more water. You guys saw me when I was doing that, but I love it. I love it. I love it. At the bottom of that, I have my vegetables. No, not my vegetables. I'm sorry, guys. We have my fruits, my bananas, and my apples. Then you guys can see the jars. We have the macaroni. We have the rice. We have the powdered sugar. And then we have my turntable with all the sauces, some creamer, and some peanut butter from my babies. I told you guys I really, really like this turntable. It's so cute, and it gives an extra touch to the pantry look. We have my sugar cane in the back there, my sugar cane sugar. And then we have some more noodles back there, the panini noodles. And then we have cereal for the kiddos right here you guys see i have my sweet potatoes and this is also where i would be keeping the onions and you know things like that underneath that you guys can see labeled here is our snack basket and next to our snack basket is our pasta basket oh my gosh we love it <laughs> we really do we have our pasta basket next to that you guys can see my utensils and we keep that here in the basket easy for everyone to access and as soon as they finish using that i don't mind they throw it right away and on to the next and then we have our bread basket and you guys already know we keep all the breads all kinds of breads in this particular basket 
Next to the bread basket is the breakfast items basket. This is where we keep all breakfast items. You guys can see the cream of wheat, the Belveda, and things of that nature. Also here underneath from there, we have the cans and the sauces. This is where I have um, like the ragu sauces as well as um, tuna. And then we have our drinks right next to that. We have the baby's juice boxes and then we have the basket of water for the kiddos. And then we have some more juice boxes and next to that we have our paper and cups. If you guys remember, we have also plastic in here. All things paper and plastic in this basket. You guys see my Ziplocs. I got my big Ziploc bags as well as my smaller Ziploc bags. And underneath from here, guys, we have our two big baskets. This is where we keep all the refill items. So if any of the baskets are going low, we just get whatever item it is we need and we re-up at the top. That's pretty much it, guys. You can see my cereal. You can see the kids' cereal. You can see their snacks, the waters, extra cups. And next to it, we have like bigger items. We have beans. We have rice. We have the plastics. I don't know what that cake mix is doing there or the cake um, icing, but we need to make that soon. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So this is a complete overview of my pantry and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Like I said earlier, I have been using it like this for a few months now. So it is very functional and every item is easily accessible to those it needs to be easily accessible to. Well, that's it, ladies. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe. Also, go ahead and share this video. You never know who this video may bless. And don't forget, if you live to love, you would love to live. Bye, guys.